I mean, to, to, to be 58, knowing that I have my first film I'll be directing next year, how often does that happen? And if you look back at the chronology of, of the work to date, I had this whole 15 year long career as a journalist. That anybody would be happy with it. And if Time Incorporated, that would be enough. Then I had this whole television career happen, which I wrote 300 produced episodes, you know, and ran my own show, and that should be enough. I've written 300 published comic books, you know, and bestsellers, that should be enough. And now I'm, you know, doing Changeling and this thing, but that should be enough. Running my own studio. It just, I keep reinventing myself every few years. And despite, you know, reality, I keep succeeding at it, which, you know, even I can't understand some days. Uh, but I think it comes down to one simple thing, which is follow your passion, follow the things you care about, uh, tell the stories you want to tell. Um, I think that as, as kids, we tend to spontaneously sing, dance, tell stories. And someone tells you, well, you shouldn't do that. You're not very good at that. Adults should do that. You're going to embarrass yourself. And we begin to unlearn our passions. And we fall asleep on our own lives. Something happens to wake us up. It's a diagnosis of cancer. Someone dies. Whatever it is, you get married, you get divorced. And there's something you wake up. But if we can stay awake and make inform decisions and reinvent ourselves on occasion to follow our passions, amazing things happen. C coming from where I come from, poor environments, street, blue collar, no friends or relatives in the business, I should be working at a gas station or in prison right now. But despite all that, I am here because I followed the things that matter to me. I told the stories that matter to me. Even for shows that were as lame as Jake and the Fat Man, you, still, you, you do the stories you care about. And if you follow your passions, things work out sometimes.